So they took him out. Now you're in. Now I'm in. With with uh, sure. with the, with the purpose of trying to get information to set up Suge Knight. No, I don't need information. I'm, I'm there. They're going to give me the information. I'm going to do Suge. I don't need Suge to talk. I just need my presence next to Suge. Okay. I don't need Suge to say nothing. Okay. They got me in cell four. They got Suge in cell five. Because that's how this works, basically. We know this from prior times. You don't need any information. You need presence next to him. There's a dude named Danny Carpenter out of Norwalk. All of Norwalk is all wiretaps for LA County. Anytime you have a wire, right? Uh, he did 17 or 18 wiretaps, but I've worn wires for these dudes, right? So, I, yeah, I, I, why do I want him to talk? I don't want you to talk about your case. Anything I want, I'll get out of the murder book and say, you told me. Housing records put us together. The wires communicate me. Pasadena, I just tore Pasadena up on Pasadena down the lane. So, let's just stay on that point here. Okay. So, uh, who showed you the, so who showed you the murder book? Which time? The first time. Brandenburg, Larry Brandenburg. And told you to go through the murder book, get all the information you want. No, he had the murder book and we were talking and just going through it, leaping through it. And his, and his presence? Yeah, he was doing whatever, he was in the OSJ office, I was just doing my thing. And this was where, in his office? No, this was in LA County Jail, 3000 OSJ office. Okay. That was the first time. Okay. Second time was with Hall. The third time was with Hall, right? Prior to this going on, right, me and Suge started talking, right? Now, hold on. Let's back up for a second. So you're saying you met with Hall three times, and all those three times he had the murder book? No, not all three times, no. How many times did, did Hall have the murder book? Probably twice. Okay. And, when and, he, and, and is he just sitting down and throwing the murder book to you? Like, what is he doing? He just hands it to you? No, you guys don't understand, right? You know, again, I'm speak freely. I'm not being a It's like this. Pretend it's my, we don't know anything. It's, it's my show, right? Yeah, it's, right. It's, it's, it's my show, so yeah, I'm, right. I'm going through. We're talking. We're bullshitting. Right? We're going through. So, uh, uh, yeah, he, he, he's about the murder book. He's going back to days. So he handed you the murder book, so you go ahead and look through whatever you want, I'm right? I'm going through it. Okay. It's not hard. You know, if you're, if you're, if you're all right or you're there, let me just look for them. Right. Give us a fuck. Right. Right? So, I mean, do you want me to describe the murder book to you? How the chronological in the front, the witness in the back? Yeah, sure. Tell me how the murder book looks like. What color is it? Gray. Gray. Okay. What, what, what the, part, the, the front part of the murder book is in section three section. The first part is all miscellaneous notes okay. and witnesses. In the middle, is they convert things into CDs. Okay. Sleeves for CDs. Okay. In the back is another miscellaneous Melis, what word am I looking for? Miscellaneous, right? Okay. In the back of the murder book, right? Okay. For for witnesses or whatever, right? It, it, it's it's actually in chronological order. It's an order, it is, okay. right? Okay, we're at the point where you've now started to work for Hall. You performed or worked for Hall on three separate cases that you've already mentioned to us, testifying in one. Is that correct? Testifying in one. This, okay. The third one is is still open right now. It's show. Okay, so now talk to us about how they got you to begin working on Should Night. Who asked you first? Brandenburg. How do you go? Where did you go? County Jail. He came to you? Yeah, of course. I don't know them. Okay. What, do you, what do you say? Danny, I need you to do Shook. I need you to do me a favor. Okay. 
But when he was asking him as a favor for Hall or Bill, because he wasn't on the case, how did he come to you? Pipping me out for Hall? Pipping me out for Hall. Yeah. Because I, I, I didn't, I didn't, it's a high profile case, right? And me and Hall, like I said, me and I don't like Hall. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Hall, Hall says I'm egotistical, arrogant, I, you know what I mean? I, he just don't like, we don't like each other. We don't. Right. But the bottom well, line. Let me ask you, I have to back you up. What were you charged with that got me into county jail? What was the underlying case? Driving without the owner's consent? No, there was another shit in there. There's another charge. In mine? Mm -hmm. No, nah, I don't. I, that was it. I'll show you. So you already the county jail in your post? Yeah. Four ninety six. Probably, it had not been a prior case. Or they made a mistake. There's only one. There's only one case. Ten eight. It's one case. Ten eight fifty one is the only case I got. Yeah. Okay. So, driving on a, driving without the owner's permission, you're in county jail, Brandenburg approaches you, what happens next? I was getting ready to get out. I was getting ready to get out, right? But Brandenburg came because they wanted me to do, Steve Hopp shot a pull officer in the face in Silmar. The case was having problems. I stayed in custody to do that case. I did that case in June. I was getting ready to go home, right? They offered me, as I told you, a joint suspension, and I would have got out of that, right? But I stayed in there to do Steve Ogg. Got him. He got 200 years of life, or 200 years. And how long ago was this case? June. In June. June. He gets sentenced to 200 years of life in June. Then he continued working on June. No. Mm -mm. Huh? Go ahead. He, he, got, again, he got sentenced out of Tahunga. He okay. got sentenced in uh, November. November. Pasadena court? Van Nuys. Pasadena was, uh, Pasadena was uh, Bill Broham's case, uh, Michael Grisby from Pasadena Denver Lynch. Okay. Okay. He, killed, he killed a dude named Sean Baptiste on Orange Grove in Lincoln, allegedly, right? But I set that case up for him. Okay. Chava was the, the Chava, Palfi Chava was mm -hmm. the, he made me an agent of the state and the court, right? Crazy shit. Okay, so you <laughs> Thank you for the dinner. You started working on Should Night. What was your charge? What did they ask you to do? How did you do it? It was Brandenburg first. Brandenburg said, I want you to do me a favor, right? Work with Hall and do Should, right? At the time, Hall wasn't even on the case. Hall promoted to lieutenant, came to the county jail. Richard was the, was the I.O. in the case. So I started working with Hall. You say Richard, you mean Richard Biddle? Yeah. Okay. I started working with Hall and Biddle, right? Well, I don't, I don't like Biddle. I don't like him, right? So I said, don't bring him around me again, right? Mm -hmm. So I was dealing with Hall. Hall was trying to build a a scenario on Shug where Shug's point of defense is going to be self-defense. They thought it was self-defense. The other one was going to be his eye because his eye is fucked up, right? Mm -hmm. In the midst of doing this, doing what? Doing this investigation form, right? Mm -hmm. In the beginning, in the murder book, there was two witnesses. One of her name is Monica Lopez. Her address is out of Whittier. She was present when all that happened. She said that one of the people involved had something that resembled a gun. That particular piece of evidence in the murder book never got turned over to Cindy. So they couldn't make it part of the discovery where the defense couldn't get it. They held that back. How do you know that? I read the murder book. I got the page. Da Danny Toledo is my attorney. He's going to have it probably this Monday. But I, how, how do you know that discovery never got to Cindy Barnes? I, I talked to Hall. I, I, we, what we talked about, Bill Brandenburg said, that's going to support his whole thing. And Hall told you it never got to, to Cindy? Of course. Because I, I, I tell him, you guys are idiots. She's going to support Give this. Give me their words exactly, if you can. About I told I told them you're wasting your time. She's gonna support the self defense situation, right? Uh -huh. In the parking lot, right? Uh -huh. And then Hall said no because it never got turned over to, to in the discovery, which the defense never got, right? So where do we find this, Cindy? No, Cindy Bond. Cindy, no, no, no. Cindy's where do we find this thing? Monica. Monica. I, fuck, I have no idea. I, Danny, 
Danny, uh, uh, t now watch this. My defense attorney, you know who he is? Okay, he, I told him, watch this, I told him to contact you people because they wanted me to do should, right? I told him all this ahead of time. My attorney, right? So, everything that's going to him, right? He already knows, right? What she'll turn on to you. Last name again? Toledo? Teola. Danny Teola. Okay. Uh, he's, he's my attorney record. Anyway, so he, he knows the whole situation. As a matter of fact, it, now we just now we go into a whole other part of the situation. Now this is going to be crazy right now. My wife's nephew, his name is Devin Gonzalez. He caught an attempted murder case in Palm Beach, Lancaster. They tried to give him seventy to life. Paul told me that if I testify against Shug Knight, help Shug Knight, they would get the kid out of jail or cut him a deal, right? What's his name again? Devin Gonzalez. Of course. I told Hall, I got you, right? They went and dropped all the charges and gave him six years. Right now, in division, in the Lancaster court, Catherine Blanchard being the judge. Hall did that because he thinks I'm doing shit. They kicked him? <laughs> yeah, seven life. It, 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 look, look it up on the internet. Devin goes, oh, I got a booking number to take. They, they give him seven years? Yes, he, he never faced a seven in life. They okay. dropped everything down, everything down, everything down, right? And he got six years. Six years? Yeah. Prison? Yeah, but out of seven to life, though? Right. Is that a good deal? Yeah. Go back to, uh, I want to back up just a second. Good. On that Mike Grigsby. Is it Grigsby? Grigsby. Grigs. I can't pronounce it right. Is R-I-G-B? Yeah, his defense attorney was, was Chava. Talpa Chava. Call me Russ. Russ. Or U.S.S. Got that correctly. So this Mexican girl saw a gun? Something that resembled a firearm, right? Was she the only witness that saw? Were there other witnesses who saw guns? See, again, again, I, I can't, the, the dynamics and the physics of it, right? I'm trying to balance two or three things at a time, right? That's something that I can solidly tell you without. So let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Was murder book, is there any identifiable information about this Mexican girl, like her date of birth or anything? Phone number? Or her address, phone her address is going to my attorney. Oh. Her phone number, her address. Her address. Got it. Okay. The mail may be here tomorrow. Maybe here tomorrow. Alright. Okay. Or if you like, if it's not there tomorrow, Saturday when I go see him, I'll just get it for you, no problem. So with him and with the Mexican girl, that'll make the case. The Mexican girl definitely. The Mexican girl because we're talking about withholding heaven. Yeah. You got them that means it takes the entire process to hold the gun. Yeah, but that's okay.